This segment is sponsored by Children's Miracle Network and Anthem Lemonade. I'm with two very special women of Carytown. We're here at Bev's Homemade Ice Cream and Cafe, and I'm here with Bev Mazursky and Eva Swanson. Bev, of course, is the creator and founder of this wonderful, beloved ice cream shop in Carytown, and Eva is the flavor master. We're gonna get to the story behind that, but first, Bev, you have an amazing story to share about transitioning from one career to another and opening a spot that people love to visit here in Richmond. How did you find out? How did you find out? Out that I had another career. Well, did a little research, find, you know, d do a little, little scooping before we get to where we're going. But, you know, it, it seemed like looking from that first career to the next one, it still was paying special care and attention to the things that people need. It's true. It's true. I taught deaf children and I taught them the oral procedure, not sign language, but to read lips and I taught them to speak. It was the babies that I worked with, with the three and four year olds. Well, after I had my family and my husband passed away, I decided to go back to school. So what school did I choose? But the Culinary Institute of America. And here I was at 49 years old with all these nice young people and I had two years at the Culinary Institute. I worked at the Rainbow Room in New York City. And then I lived in Massachusetts and I opened ice cream stores there. And I wanted to have a kind of a business that was very, very family related. And that's how it all came about. Yeah. yeah. For families and for singles, you definitely want to come in and enjoy some delicious ice cream. Mm -hmm. And Eva, you oversee the creations here now. Yes, I do. Um, I started apprenticing in January um, under our dear friend Heidi, um, who just left the company. Um, but I had a pretty good teacher and I, I took the wheel in April and have been making all the ice cream here ever since. And creating a few new flavors mm -hmm. on our own as well. I'm getting ready to enjoy one of the classics. Unfortunately, my eating hand is occupied with the microphone right now, but I might, I might have to, I'll switch. How's that? And, you know, I want you guys to tell me, you've been supporting the Anthem Lemonade effort for a number of years, um, often have the uh, lemonade stand set out front. Every year. How did that get started, Bev? Well, they just called and they said, could we put a lemonade stand in front of your store? And I said, absolutely. And then, ta-da, <laughs> it came to me that we should be making something lemonade -y inside the store. And that's how it all came about. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's for children. And my heart is with, with children. Mm -hmm. And we always are very supportive absolutely. of children. So making a big impact in the community and that takes the effort of business owners and of course for you to come out and enjoy what's going on here. Um, Ava, you just took us to the back and showed us the special flavor that you're putting together for the weekend of July 18th and that's strawberry lemonade. Mm -hmm. um, I really have a fondness for lemonade flavors because they're so refreshing and you can do so much with them. You could make a lavender lemonade is something we do sometimes, but a strawberry lemonade is, is just classic enough with a little bit of a twist, so I thought it would be really fun for summer. So you put all the fresh ingredients together, we saw those go in and, and spin around, and you're going to have to really stock up because folks are going to come yes. in over that weekend, mm -hmm. and then of course a portion of sales goes to benefit the Anthem Lemonade effort. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of the proceeds are going to go mm -hmm. to um, the Children's them. Miracle Network. Fantastic. Every mm -hmm. tub of ice cream that is sold when we're finished, they will receive they right. will receive the benefits of that. Well, fantastic. Ladies, thanks for having us Thank and you. giving us a peek in the back and sharing your story and oh, inviting welcome. everyone to continue that supportive effort right here in Richmond. Bev's Homemade Ice Cream and Cafe in Carytown. Come on out, check it out. And now I would be remiss if I didn't get in here <laughs> and just, you know, the uh, quality control, we both oh, agree. Oh, That's together. right? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. cheers. All right. Cheers, cheers ladies. Cheers. cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Lucky duckies. Never miss an opportunity to do some quality control on homemade ice cream. Find a list of participating restaurants and their special creations online at WTVR.com slash lemonade challenge.
and head out to Bev's on West Cary Street July 18th through the 20th to get a scoop of strawberry lemonade ice cream or try any of those other delicious flavors.